Hi, I'm RCT Mania. Once more, and this is my second Rollercoaster Tycoon Custom Scene Creation tutorial. This one's going to talk you through how to create light effect points so you can have a nice light showing in the game. First of all, open uh, your 3D modeler. As you can see here, I've opened Milkshake, which is my modeler of choice. They might be using SketchUp, Blender, or Animator, or something else. I don't know. Okay, I've, I've decided I'm going to have a circle, and a, in that circle, I'm going to have a light effect point. When I say circle, obviously I mean sphere, so I'm just going to draw a little sphere like that. Okay, so that's that. It's not looking great. That's just a simple circle. Now you, you click on vertex here, or the equivalent option in your modeler, and you want to put one right in the middle. So you click there, and you can see it. And now, after you've done that, click move. You can see there, just that little red dot, that's that. Want to move that so you almost can't see it. So now you've got a one point vertex inside the middle of this sphere. So I'm going to save this. As so there goes sphere with light. Click save and now I'm going to close that. We won't need that anymore. Obviously, you would if you're creating icons, but I'm going to do that bit. I'll go and create oval and now find your texture. And when you select the model, you should find it. You should find it here, and you'll see here there's a sphere, which is your model, and the vertex. Now, for the sphere, you need to put your texture in, obviously, and do all the textile and placing. And then under effects points, click the A, and this will automatically add effects points for all the vertices. So you click A, and there you go. There it is. And if you look, that number there represents that number there. If you then click Edit Effect Point, down here, this is the effect point. You click on the star there, and you can add all the sort of effect points. You can add a peep, a person or a vendor, a path fountain, a launcher, a particle effect, or a light, which is what interests in. Click Start, and then you can do your light effect. You can have normal, simple, or no bulb. Mainly you're going to go for normal options. You can have lamp torch or a custom color and then this is the color uh, obviously 255 255 255 is white if I had to change that you can see there a preview of what the color is going to be but I'm just going to leave it at that so it's white the radius that's how far your light spreads so a 2 radius will not spread very far but a 50 will spread it a lot far I'm going to left leave it at 5 and there you go that's your code Light start, 0, 01 is then the light. Then you've got the three color choices red 255, green 255, blue 255, and then the radius. Click OK, and there's your effect there. You click OK, and that's that. You now have a light effect. You click OK, do the LODs, add a texture, which I might as well just do now. I'm not going to talk you through this bit, you should be able to do this bit uh, if you want to light effects. There you go, find that. Save it as sphere with light. You might want to use a better description. Then click create oval, save. And then when you go to add your scenery, you select the oval file. And there from then you do absolutely everything as you would normal. No special settings need here. You don't have to do any of those. It's all up to you what you do there. Okay, hopefully that's now helped you. And you can now create your own lights in Monocast Tycoon. And I look forward to seeing what you can do. Uh, my name's RCT Maniac, and uh, good luck with your custom scenery. Thank you.